I told you before, you, the, these people, they, they have the illusion from Dajjal. So this is the time now that we're in, that the hadith of Prophet describing that Dajjal will present to you a paradise. Stay away from it, it's hell. And will present to you on the other hand a fire and say, this is Jahannam. And Prophet described, go for the fire. He's going to present everything different. Now bring that into today because people are maybe not putting clues together. When Prophet describing, someone's going to present to you a paradise and someone's going to present to you a fire. Make sure you choose the fire. So Dajjal has one eye. So when you go home, do you see one eye in your living room? Uh, hello, yeah, unless you have two TVs next to each other. <laughs> Most of us have one television, one screen. That one eye is broadcasting, continuously showing you cars, this, 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 and saying, your paradise is here. Why would you have to be distracted for? What are you talking about planning for next life? What life? This is paradise. And as soon as you take that bait, you bite into that, you walked into now a deep fire. And those same people put a fire on believers. They put difficulty on believers. Why you have to do that? Why you have to cover? Why you have to do all these things? Come to us, we make your life like a behisht like a paradise. That's exactly what Prophet is describing. When that one eye image comes out, it's telling you that's paradise. Those same people who were teaching that madhab, they're having rave concerts now. Their ulama escaped and now Nicki Minaj is managing your country. What are you talking about that you want to understand Islam? Those people who taught you that, they're having rave concerts because they're trying to say, now they understand how to get to paradise. And then they say our way because bid'a means Jahannam. So then they say the majlis of zikr is a fire, is a Jahannam. You think there's a Jahannam somewhere where everyone's sitting there saying, Allah, 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 Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nur John. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Does it make any common sense? No. You think there's a, a, there's a place in which Allah is punishing people whom were praising and loving and cleaning and purifying? So the Dajjah system is very much alive and everything of goodness that we do, they say, this is going to bring fire. What kind of fire are you crazy people thinking? The praising of Allah is a rahmah, is a mercy. The salawat and duru, the sharif that people take away from their time, away from their families, cook and prepare food for the halakas and circles of paradise in which the angels circumambulate the circle and Allah forgives the circle, blesses the circle and continuous ni'mat upon that circle. And every aspect of our life now is a fire. So then they show all sorts of political issues and everybody taking off their Islam burning their Islam. These are all very holy to Allah You wear it, you don't wear it, nobody cares. You start burning it, Allah's azab comes towards you. You wear it, you don't wear it, that's up to you and your Lord. You burn it, we have a problem with you. 
Allah has a problem with you. That means now these fires are opening. So it's not about that. You don't have the right to burn our Islamic understanding. You don't have the right to destroy our belief. And that's the fire now. So everybody's producing these fire, 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 why? So that you don't go to it. And Prophet described for us, move towards that fire. If they tell you that it's fire, enter it. قُلْ يَا نَهْرُ كُنِي بَرْدًا وَسَلَامًا عَلَى إِبْرَاهِيمٍ It's but an illusion. Inside that is behisht and paradise. And those whom enter in because they have to pass this illusion, oh gosh this is going to be hard, how can I go with these things, how can I do these things, how can I follow my deen? And shaitan makes every fire and illusion to come in front of them so they won't enter. And Allah says, have little bit of faith, don't worry. And as soon as they enter, there's so much support, there's so much grace, there's so much blessings and they don't feel any heat, they don't feel any difficulty because Allah is with them and supporting. So very much now that's open. And the reason that we teach the way we teach is because people have to understand from the energy point that these are energies, you have to produce positive energy, you have to come against all negative energies. InshaAllah Allah guide people and break away this illusion and delusions of these people that they have put upon the eyes and the heart of people and all of it fake. When the awliyaullah come and teach and tell you that ruqya and a protection and Islam is all about tawassul. Tabarak, it's all of Islam is tawassul and tabarak. And shaitan, what will he say in this in these two scenarios? You think shaitan agrees with us or no? He doesn't want you to make tawassul and doesn't want you to be involved in tabarak. So then he presents it as a fire. But all of hajj is that reality. You're making tawaf. You're touching Maqam al-Ibrahim, you're drinking zamzam water, all of these are tabarak, all of these are a blessing that you do what Allah ordered for you, Allah addresses you. Otherwise why are you kissing this, this stone and, uh, of Kaaba? Because it has tabarak and blessings. Why are you you're drinking zamzam? Go to Costco and get water, why has tabarak? Allah said to do it. He's the one who makes it to be from Kawthar. So it means that they have blessings, they have immense. Then they tell you with all of you doing hajj, it's all tabarak, all tawassul, go to Medina and be rude. Go to Medina, turn your back. So why are you telling me to kiss Maqam al-Ibrahim? I would rather kiss the feet of Sayyidina Muhammad why would turn my back? Why? Because this is, this is fire, they want you to enter fire, they will, oh you're going to be punished. Be punished for what? I was just kissing uh, Sayyidina Ibrahim's feet at the maqam, I was just making Safa Marwa and I kissed the black stone. The black stone, more important, a Rosa Sharif in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Shouldn't we be kissing Prophet instead of rocks? So what these people believe is unbelievable. It's like somebody come to your backyard and kiss all your rocks in your backyard but they don't want to come to your home and say hello. <laughs> so what the heck is wrong with you? They come to your backyard, they're kissing all the stones in your backyard, leave. And then you open the door and say, Bida! <laughs> no? No? The one who owns all this, you owe him everything. You come there with all your greetings and love for Sayyidina Muhammad who brought us this, who brought everything for us. So alhamdulillah everything now is, is on that Dajjal system. It's only these lights and these teachings, they hit the heart of people so that the illusion goes away. That the shaitan has cast a spell on people's hearts and they're under delusions and illusions. They do every forbidden thing and then tell us zikr is bidah.
go to their page and every nastiness is on their page. But for some reason they're scholars, scholistically knowledgeable to say this is an innovation. No, because shaitan just casts a spell on people. So Allah save us inshaAllah and guide us inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.